Hello everyone, welcome to the review video of one of my favorite fragrances of all time is Versace Dylan Blue. It's a very, very good fragrance. It lasts very long and we're going to talk about today. This is actually um, and it's a fragrance that is very long already. It is like a combination of two very popular fragrances, Aqua de Gio Profumo and Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette mixed in one little fragrance that is cheaper than both of them individually. Created by the master perfumer Alberto Marias. It also shines very well in high summer heat. It's a very refreshing and vibrant perfume. It is very strong and it will create an image on you. When you're wearing this, when you're rocking this, when you spray yourself under with this perfume, you radiate power. You radiate confidence, a very strong and charismatic alpha male. That's what for such a Dylan Blue gives you. You, when you smell it, when you're walking around with it on you, you will feel confident. You will feel strong. You will feel manly, and that's what we want. It is creating a vivid picture, a very beautiful Mediterranean summer, a Mediterranean summer sea. It is very beautiful. It's actually a very good, and still is. And don't forget, this is not a new fragrance. This is a timeless masterpiece. Sophistication in a bottle. By, of course, Alberto Marias, the master perfumer who created many popular fragrances, including Aqua di Gio, including many other fragrances, including many Versace fragrances. And the benefits of this fragrance are, it's a very luxurious blue fragrance, in my opinion, the best bang for buck blue fragrance out there. It is the luxurious, out of the shower smell. It's versatile, all year round you can wear it. You can wear it in the summer, high summer heat, you can wear it in the winter. It's a good signature fragrance, and actually it has been my signature signature fragrance in the past as well. Now I like to wear many fragrances, also multiple per day. But this is really good. If I had to choose one fragrance, likely would be this. It projects very well, so it means like when you spray it on, it will radiate. It will very, create a very beautiful and big scent bubble around you. Like two sprays, that will give you like a one meter scent bubble for many hours and especially also in high summer heat when many perfumes actually perform a lot less but this will perform really well it will project it will radiate and if you do like 80 sprays what i did in the video we we're just gonna see you will radiate like a beast the projection shiage the scent bubble is enormous like three five meter away people are gonna smell you and they're gonna wonder what are you rocking? Really? What is this smell? I want to smell like that. And then you're going to say it's for such a Dylan Blue. My super, super alluring men's fragrance. It is absolutely a beast mode, a beast mode fragrance. And it's a perfect 10 out of 10 in my opinion. I love it. And now you're going to see the lady's response to me. Smelling like for such a Dilla Blue. I say, let's take a watch at what the ladies think of it in the Philippines, in the high summer heat, 30 degrees Celsius plus. That's like 80, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. But yeah, this is amazing. And now I'm going to spray myself many times with for such a Dilla Blue. I put down my sunglasses first because I don't want to spray on my sun sunglasses. But one of the big advantages when you're making a decant, normally with a normal at atomized, when you take the whole bottle with you, you probably have enough when you spray two or three times. But the downside of spraying just two or three times is just you just spray under certain selected areas. But when you spray with a small decant, you can actually spray many more times so you can cover many more areas without spending 
more fragrance on it. So it's actually quite economic as well. So let's start off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do it more. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, I'm gonna smell good. And I'm now gonna walk around in the high summer heat for a minimum 20 minutes. I'm gonna walk from a Brisa mall to another mall. I looked it up on Google Maps, it's 12 minutes walk, but I'm gonna walk slowly. So I'm gonna do minimum 20 minute walk outside in 30 degrees Celsius, which is 86 degrees Fahrenheit and ask the ladies in another mall what they think of it. Okay, small little update. I oversprayed myself 14 times with my uh, small atomizer, my decant, but something happened. I became nose blind and then I sprayed four times extra. So that's why in a video later on, I'm gonna say to people, I sprayed myself 18 times instead of 14 times, which you just saw me spraying on myself. But eventually I noticed myself more when I was trying to smell myself and when people were talking about that they could smell me from three to five minutes away. If you overspray yourself with Versace Dylan Blue, you will create a huge scent bubble, like huge. It's amazing. And now you know. Okay, I sprayed myself on the perfume. Good. What do you think of the smell? He smells good and looks like attractive. So, when you're smelling men, how do they smell like? Other men. Uh, do they wear perfume? Do they just smell like sweats? What do you think of fragrances, the smell of men? Stink? No stink? Normal Filipino men? Mm, it smells good. But, but me? Smell good? Yes. And other men? Other men, do they use perfume? Other men? Um, no, your perfume is best. Okay, <laughs> thank you very much. Welcome. Yes. And you want to smell really good as well, yes? Yes. Yes, I promise. <laughs> Girl that I would spray her under with she and she did their deeds if she would do a review. So I'm gonna spray her under. Do you wanna smell very long like so I need to spray on your neck? So you, you pull your hair, yes? And your other time, other oh yes? Oh. Yes? You wanna spray spray more? No, it's okay. okay. It's so now good. she will smell like she and she did did for the rest of the day and her parents will ask, why do you smell like perfume? But that's something for her parents to find out and for her mom to be jealous of you. <laughs> yeah? Yes, okay. that's thank, great. You. thank you. Okay, so hello everyone, welcome back. I'm now here outside with these two beautiful ladies. They are going to be respiratory therapists. Therapist. So that's good, helping the world out, making people better. Um, before I went to, to the mall and they said I could not vlog. So I thought I'm gonna walk around, go outside and go back to the mall I came from, which is um, a Brisa mall. And this is, what is this mall called? Victoria Plaza. Victoria Plaza, which looked differently from a Brisa mall. So I am now with these two ladies and I'm gonna ask them how I smell like after walking around for about 30 minutes in high summer heat. This is of course the ultimate test, how fragrance lasts and how good it smells after over spraying myself. So girls, first you, how do I smell? What do you think of this? It still smells good. It smells good? Yes. Yes? And now to you, what do you think? How does this smell like, this fragrance I'm wearing? Um, yeah, it smells, uh, no, it smells like good also. Okay. Like um, strong, a little okay. bit strong. Yes. Because I sprayed myself 18 times. Oh, <laughs> that's yes, so. Says, but it's just an atomizer. I it's like um, I didn't use the big bottle. I put uh, in small bottles so I can travel with it. And otherwise, I cannot travel with many. different... I got more than 10 fragrances with me, so otherwise, I could not do that. But if you could rate this fragrance from a scale of one to 10, what would you say? Uh, 10. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah. And you? Yeah, 10 also. Okay, that's really great. I'll get another question. Do you like 10 like each other? Because then it's easier so for you to respond what um, people think of it. And 
when you are smelling Filipino men, how do they smell like? It's a common. What? I think it's common, like among the Filipino. Do, do you smell perfume? Yeah, your perfume is. Oh. Yeah, I smell it common. I from the others. Okay. There's. Are you? Mm, eh, I don't know. It's. I like the smell. Okay. I like Would the smell, smell of the perfume. In another men as well. Mm, for me, I haven't smelled that perfume. Okay. No. It's a fragrance called Versace Dylan Blue. Do you know it? Just the name. Just the name. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, is it what? What kind of men wear it? Is it like the business people, or the other people in the hospital, or somewhere else? Maybe nightclubs. I don't know. Maybe I am. Um, I think my workmate smells that too. Just one person. Okay. Smells That's like nice. yeah. And you? Uh, I smelled it from business people okay. on business. So it's very common fragrance. Yes. And would you say it's better to spray a lot or not so much? I think not so much okay. because it's strong. Yes. Yeah. Especially in the high summer heat. Now, because now it's very hot, uh, it radiates maybe a little bit more because um, you sweat a lot. Or me in this case. Yeah, that's why. And you? What do you think? Uh, I think you should not spray it. Very this much? Yes. <laughs> I'm a bit crazy, I know. Um, I've got something else um, as a reward for people. Um, I'm gonna, if you're willing to smell like the Givenchy Linter did, it's a female fragrance. In the Philippines, it's um, very expensive. In Europe, it's less expensive, it's also expensive. Yes. It's um, in what I bought this for, like the 100 ml, the 0.1 liter. I paid about um, 80 euros for it, uh, which is about 100 dollars. Wow. But it's a smaller amount. Do you like to smell like it? And also, um, are you also okay with me putting this on YouTube called New Life Asia? Yes, it's okay. okay. Yes, of course. Okay, you want to smell good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, one, one moment. Fell in. This one's broken. And you as well? Yes. So you can smell each other. Yeah. How do you smell? It smells good. So it's very fruity. It smells very sweet. Yes. It's a very popular female fragrance. And I think it was in the, in the top 10 fragrances of 2022 for women. So now you can impress your boyfriend or <laughs> your colleagues or friends and your mom says, what are you smelling? Uh, yeah, it's very yeah. yes. good. Okay. Well, oh, thanks for the interview, and uh, maybe see you another time. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So today we're gonna review a perfume. It's called uh, Versace Dylan Blue. I sprayed it on myself for 18 times, which is a lot. I think that most people should not do it. But I thought I'm gonna try it out and walk around for one hour in high summer heat. I was originally planning to do shorter, but now I am doing it longer. Um, but yeah, now I met these two beautiful ladies and they're gonna give their honest opinion about this fragrance. So first of all, when you're smelling me, what do you think? Uh, smells good. Yes, and you? It smells good. Yes, it smells, it smells good. A little bit louder? Yes, it smells good. Very, very good, yes. So, um, your experience with um, fragrances and smelling fragrances on people, what do normal people smell around you? What? The normal people who are around you, who you meet um, in work or in street or in school. Um, smells bad. Oh, smell bad. Yeah. yeah. Nobody wear bad. perfume? Yeah. No. Nobody. Not all. For you? Not all people wearing perfume. Not all people wearing, uh, using perfume. Uh, this is um, uh, um, an Italian brand, Versace. It's, um, probably also more expensive in the Philippines. Um, in Europe, I bought it um, a 100 milliliter bottle is like around 50, 60 dollars. And I probably think it will be like a hundred dollars in the Philippines. So it's more expensive. Yeah. But yeah. Um, do other men you meet around you 
do they um, use perfume at all or they don't use perfume? Uh, some. 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 But not all. Not all. Not all. Yeah. But um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good would you rate this perfume? This perfume? Yes. Uh, uh, 10. Oh, over nice, 10. Nice. Yeah. And you? 10. What? 10. 9. Okay, that's also a nice answer. And I'm going to give everyone who wants to be on the YouTube video um, a spray of a female perfume. It's Givenchy uh, Linterdit. It's for female. What? It's for female. Yes, for female. You can smell it. You want to spray it on you? It, it smells like, like rose. It? Yes, it's also... Um, actually, this fragrance is more expensive than that fragrance. Yeah. So, you want some? Yeah. I can spray on you. You also want oh. some? Yeah. So it's now special. tonight, when you're going home, your mom asks, what smells so good? Yeah. It smells so fresh. So it smells... Yes, it's so yes. refreshing. And you like i think from one or two meters they can smell you yeah yes. the smell is so uh strong yes mm. yes and so you smell like a strong powerful woman yeah. yeah i will show you the the perfume the what it what it is um when i close this video yeah and i say thanks for the video for, for the interview and it was really nice meeting you too yeah nice meeting you too Thank you. yes so ma'am Listen to me for such a woman blue. It's a good fragrance. Go get it. The women are gonna like it. Okay, ho hello, welcome back. We're here in this foul city in front of the city hall. And now I've met this beautiful lady who's gonna review my perfume. Yes. About an hour ago, I sprayed myself eight times with Versace Dylan Blue. And now I'm gonna, gonna ask her how it smells like. So, do you smell it? Yeah, I actually can smell it like you're you're very far from me, from me earlier and I can smell it. it's really nice but for me because I need perfume too it's like a strong for because I love I love like a I love, I love like a soft smell you okay. know and sweet smell that's what I want so for me it's nice but it's not, it smells like a professional though I love it okay that's really great thank you for the comp and on a scale of 1 to 10 how would you rate it um eight okay that's really great yes. i'm gonna tell you something about um sweet perfumes i've tried out sweet perfumes last time when i was in the philippines and i felt like being a mosquito magnet oh Do you have that as well well no actually because i i only have like a i only have like two favorite perfumes for me so okay i don't i don't have that i never ha i never heard about it okay <laughs> maybe it's, it was me or maybe it was cebu city but there were really a lot of mosquitoes there and I've only been bitten once by a mosquito once here so it's not that <laughs> regular so or, yeah there's a lot of mosquitoes in here in the Philippines but I never heard perfume that you know avoid mosquitoes is that what you mean I felt like I was um, like um, a honeypot for the bees <laughs> but for flies and mosquitoes they were all flying around me so I, I did have it with me um, it was um, Ultramel by Jean-Paul Gaultier, which I took with me. I took last time two perfumes with me, and that one, well, they didn't end up very well with me. But what are your personal favorite perfumes for men? Um, for men, it's like, well, for me, it's like uh, Aficionado, Aficionado 35. Yeah, that's my favorite for the men, but for because I'm only focused on a woman, so yeah. I don't, I don't have actually but any for idea about. Women? What do you yes. prefer? You got your brand, you said? Uh, special, of course, it's my, fa my favorite brand is for me, like Heart Mares, that's my favorite perfume. And w what kind of perfume is it? It's women's? Yeah, it's for a woman. And you make it yourself? Yes, I made it myself. Okay, that's really good. It's very professional and um, entrepreneurial, mm -hmm. ambitious. Yes. So that's gonna, that's the best words to describe your perfume, maybe. <laughs> The best words? Um, I think it's a lot of people complain about me because it's 100% 100, 100 oil based. So they want perfume that lasts, but it will be like, you know, like oil. 100% oil based is like you can just smell it near. You can smell it far. So that's, that's, the, that's their complaint about, that, about my perfume. 
but as, you, as I told you before, in the Middle East, it's very common to have 100% oil-based perfumes. Mm -hmm. I know it's not popular in the rest of the world, but have you tried selling it elsewhere, like Middle East? Um, or the Muslim population in your, this province of um, Mindanao? Well, I haven't, I haven't tried it, though. No. You should definitely try opening a Shopify store. Well, I, I have fine. a website, but okay. some, some of my some of my customers from Germany, USA, okay. and yes. That's kind of strange, to be honest. Why? I've never heard, because you're in the Philippines, because if they're like so far away, it, you do have a reach, people do find you interesting, but I've never heard of um, Breakers Web Shop in the Philippines selling to European customers, but it's really good. Yes, I know. I know it's really crazy, but you know, I'm, I'm very thankful that my my brand well, went to U.S., you know, France, and Germany. That's that's my you know you know because some of the Filipinos, you know, it's it's not bad, but some of the Filipinos can't afford it. That's why. Yeah, I think that's the prime part, and also yes. many fragrances. What I saw online are like two, three, or four times the price you pay in the European Union. Yes. Right. So that's really insane. When I'm looking at price, I think I'm not gonna pay these prices here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I, I'm trying to make a brand that it's very, you know, very cheap that can Filipino can afford, but they still can, you know, they still can <laughs> can afford. There are it. enough upper class people who buy the normal perfume. So yeah, because a lot of a lot of our fake perfumes are around here yeah, that I you can just this. buy one. <laughs> 100 peso yeah I, i've seen it i've seen it yeah so that's it's very hard to sell here for you because there's a lot of fake like you can buy like a versace here for 150 peso yes i've seen it yes <laughs> yeah it's yeah the bottle looks really cheap <laughs> yeah i know that's that's what i mean that's why i don't like selling here i am from the philippines but i sell my perfumes in other countries yes really good yes really good it's very and good. um another question on filipino men how would you say they smell like? Do they smell anything special? Do they use a lot of perfume or not? Uh, for me, because you know, Filipino Filipino people like to take a bath <laughs> two, I one one to two times a day. So <laughs> there is some something like it's very um, very natural to us. Like even we we even they sweat, they still smell good. That's really good. I actually also uh, take a shower two times per day because <laughs> I, I sweat too much here because I'm from Western Europe uh -huh. and it's really a cold country. When I came to the Philippines um, a week ago, mm -hmm. it was snowing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, th that's the difference. And now I'm sweating like hell. Yeah, but don't worry, it smells good. That's Your great. perfume that's is good. nice. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. And um, do you smell this perfume a lot? Yeah, it's very like in but not in a nor normal Filipino though, like um, like a office, you know, office worker, something like that. Okay, that's, that's how great. Yeah. Yes, it's not very common. It's like um, it's like not not unique, but it's not common too. Okay, it's like in the middle. That's good. So everyone who is interested in trying out for Sachi, Dylan Blue, I would say go to your department store, try it out, and come to the Philippines. It smells amazing. Yes. <laughs> Support him, guys. Okay, thanks. Yes. Bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the review of Versace Dylan Blue, the very best blue fragrance out there. You've seen the lady's reaction to it. It's absolutely magnificent. It radiates like a beast if you overspray. It will also, from experience I know, radiate very well. Like a small sample, but when you don't want to, yeah, be in people's faces with your fragrance, then just do two sprays will be good. When you do six sprays with a bottle or with a decant, the small atomizer, you can spray like 18 times because it's the same amount. And you can cover more areas, which is better when you want to radiate well. It's actually one of the best fresh fragrances out there. It radiates very well, which I cannot say for many um, fresh fragrances. They don't have a long sample. They just lost 30 minutes like one feet projection or two or three, but not a long time, not one plus hour in high summer heat. It will still perform well after more than an hour, walking around, sweating like hell. It will stick to your skin. It will stick to your clothes. It is a very good price value 
ratio, which is very unique because you got a very beautiful bottle, design fragrance, a Versace fragrance. You should definitely try it out if you don't have it already. If you know somebody who owns it, try it out at that person's home. So you can experience the long lasting fragrance. Women love it, especially here in the Philippines. They say it will smell like a very powerful boss man, a professional who is, for example, a doctor, a lawyer, or a businessman. It will create this alpha male scent. It will give you, as a man, knowing that, a very good confidence. Get this confidence booster. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, find me on Instagram at GoodBoyFrax. That's me. Like and subscribe to GoodBoyFrax on YouTube. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.